just get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This is fucking dirt. I don't give a fuck what you nigga, you, you right there. You with a fat ass mom that just walked past and shit. Yeah, you, yeah, your mom is fat as fuck, nigga. You about to talk in my comments. Suck my with your mother's mother's lip, nigga. Okay, YouTube, it's your boy Upper Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Don't forget to follow my Instagram just in case you miss a post notification on the tube. You can follow up on the gram. Also, subscribe to my other YouTube channel. We're going to also be putting content on there very soon. Okay, today I'm going to be speaking on 22Gs. I know a lot of y'all going to be like, again? Yo, you're making too many videos about this guy, but you got to understand, what I do is YouTube. I cover Brooklyn, drill scene, Brooklyn music scene. So I'm going to speak on things that are happening with Brooklyn drill music artists. You understand? So I get paid to do this. I don't just do this for free. I get paid to do this. So every video I put out, I get paid to do it. When DJ Academics made videos about Soldier Boy and all the stuff he was doing, no one said anything no one said he was cloud chasing he was just reporting rap news for y'all so that's the same thing i'm doing on a brooklyn tip so you gotta understand now there aren't that many artists that are putting out shit in the, in the open for me to speak on you understand anything that comes out i'm gonna speak on it no matter which artist it is but this guy keeps doing stupid stuff and giving me content so i'm gonna speak on it and while you're watching this video, do not scroll straight to the comment section. Watch the video first so that way nobody alters the way you think. Because sometimes y'all go down to the comment section and read the comments. They got a lot of hate comments and you might start thinking like a hater instead of actually watching the videos and seeing the points that I'm pointing out to you guys. Okay, Tutu made a statement. I'm going to run this clip so you can see it. This whole drill movement, a lot of the dances and shit, a lot of the words too. A lot of the rap flows. I started it all. I'm not gonna say it like that though, because I don't really care. I need my credit, you feel me? Okay, now that you watch that clip, you seen that he said he started damn near the whole drill shit in 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 in, in the city, right? No, 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 not today. First of all. We knew you because of 2605. I'm from Brooklyn. I know a lot of people that's watching you from out of state and stuff. They're not really in tune and they don't know. But your first song that we knew you by in Brooklyn was Go Nowhere Without That Damn Blicky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go Nowhere Without This Damn Blicky. Pull up on them in the damn rent. When those down, you can get fed quickly. Call my block, what they gon' blend with me. Hit that nigga cause he ran Ricky. Stin' a clip up in that damn glizzy. Go nowhere without this damn blicky. Go nowhere without this damn blicky. Yep. That's the first song we knew you by. You weren't anybody before that. So those people that you did a feature with were actually drill rapping. So how did you start something before someone that put you on? It doesn't make any sense. Then you said you started the dancing. Bobby Schmurda dance is one of the most popular dances in the world he's also from brooklyn and he was also on before you like he was way later than you still way later than you so how did you i'm, I'm confused and I know a lot of my Brooklyn Knights are confused also. Like, what? You started what? You know? You didn't start anything. You hopped on it. You know? You one of the most populars doing it. Yes, you can say that. But don't say you started things because other people aren't aware. And nobody's not going to speak on it. See? It didn't have nobody speaking on these things till me. Now that I'm speaking on these things, it's like, oh, I'm a hater. I'm this and that. I'm not a hater. I'm just putting the facts out there. But another thing is, I think 22G's buys views. There's a reason why I say that. Because 22G's dropped um, Blinky Game Freestyle. That has 573,000 views. Six days ago. Right? And he dropped, two months ago, he dropped um, Suburban Part 2. 
right? Suburban Part 2 is at 4.9 million views, and that also dropped on his page, 22G's page on YouTube. Okay, on Raps and Hustle, him and Envy Kane dropped the song. Yeah, the revenge. The revenge reaction is what started this whole situation where people think I'm going against them and I hate them and all these things because that's the situation that made Envy Kane call me after I did the revenge reaction, right? Revenge did 260,000 views. And that video dropped three months ago. That's on Raps and Hustles, right? Then they got Nas, Nick, and Tutu on Drive the Boat. 1.2 million views in one month on Worldstar. How come he gets faster views on his page, right? How come he gets faster views on his page and his page is less popular? I'm not understanding. How? How do you get more views on your page? I'm not understanding that. Because that the bigger pages have a fan base of different people that don't only come there just to see you. They come there because they subscribe to that page for hot new artists or whatever. So they might see you and click your shit. So how did you get more views than them on your page? I'm not understanding. Right? I'm not understanding. That's why a lot of rappers actually post content on bigger platforms so they can bring in more views. Everybody knows that. If niggas say they don't do that, they're lying. Anyways, right? Now, another thing, Tutu is stirring up a lot of beef with everyone. That's not good for the business. A lot of labels are not going to want to work with him. He might get dropped from his label because he's not producing. He's not selling anything, and he's starting a lot of beef, right? He's beefing with Blizzy and them. As we know, that's from Brooklyn, we know that they were cool and they were friends. I will post a screenshot right here on the screen for y'all to see. Feel me? We know that these guys were friends and they were cool. They all rap, you know, everybody's cool with each other, right? Now Tutu's on the internet beefing with them. Tutu beefed with Envy Kane at one point. Tutu goes, he goes back and forth with, with everyone. Like he's like this little girl that when things doesn't go her way, she throws a hissy fit. Everything gotta be her way. See, like how I speak on him, he gets upset, he goes on his platform, talks shit, calls me whatever the fuck he wanna call me and shit like that. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean what he's doing is correct just because he's popular, he has views, right? It doesn't mean it's correct at the end of the day. It doesn't mean what I'm saying is false, neither, because he has more of a following than I am. And we don't know if his following is actually legit. You feel me? We don't know. We need to see 22G's go live on YouTube one day. We need to see him go live on YouTube one day. He have enough su subscribers to do it. We want to see him go live on YouTube one day. But anyways, right? All of these things that I just spoke about is facts backing up everything I said. You feel me? Everything I said. And this guy... Specifically him. He comments under my YouTube videos also. He watches them, right? I, when I did a reaction to um, Casanova, um, Fabio, and Smooth L, um, Demons and Devils, he commented under that video with the crying face emojis, laughing at them because I was saying that their song is trash. He was laughing at them. How come it's funny when I say other people's music is trash, but when it's your music... You get offended and you're mad. I'm not obligated to like everything that comes out. I'm not obligated to give everything that comes out a good rating. If I don't like what comes out, remember, it's my reaction. You tune in to watch my reaction. You're not tuning in to watch your fans' reaction. You tune in to watch my reaction. So my reaction is going to be the way I feel about the song. You feel me? I'm judging it on how I see it. What I like. I'm the one that's judging it. You feel me? And a lot of the times I judge it very accurate and I show reasons for why I gave it what I gave it. If you watch my video all the way to the end, you'll know at the end of every video I give an explanation why I give it a rating, why this and why that. So 
Y'all niggas gotta watch the whole videos and stop reading straight to the comments because when you read straight to the comments, it's basically tailoring your mind to think negative towards me. Because if you see enough negative comments, it's gonna start. If you're not if you're not strong minded and you're a malleable kid, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, he is Dick Rodden. He said this, he said that. He didn't even need to say that. But at the end of the day, these are facts that I need to point out to y'all when I'm proving my argument. I'm not trying to diss him. I'm just using facts to prove my argument why I say things and the reason why I point out so many different things because they back the things I say. You understand me? I don't have, yo, listen. Let me make this clear on this video too. Do not have actual beef with 22 G's. 22 G's can actually see me in the street and walk past me without me putting hands on him unless he get out of character. Unless he get out of character, he can, me and him don't have no personal issue. He knows who I have a personal issue with. Feel me? He knows. It's not it's not Envy Kane. If y'all thinking it's Envy Kane, it's not Envy Kane. He knows who the personal issue with. And a lot of people want to team up so that they can so that they can make it a, a, a bigger issue and involve everybody. And he's so stupid to notice that that he's just involving himself in the shit. All right, right now, a lot of people tune into my channel. A lot of people watch. I don't care if niggas want to say, yo, you, you only got like 12,000 subscribers. I do not care. I have way more viewers than I have subscribers. You got to understand that. Way more people tune in than people that's, that are subscribed. And that goes to show you how much people are haters. And how much people are bad mind. Because how could you watch my videos all the time and have a YouTube channel and not subscribe? That's some weirdo shit. Anyways, my channel is growing very fast. And they see that. So right now, they're taking advantage of it. Because they know as soon as my shit get bigger and I mention a name, it's going to be bring them back. Because they're, they're falling off. They're falling off. We, we can see it. They're falling off. The, it's not like how it was for them in 2016. Feel me? They're falling off. But I need y'all to comment in the comment section below. And let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Do you think that his blicky friend should tell him, like, yo, you, you need to chill out. You're doing too much. And not just follow him because he's their breadwinner. You feel me? They should correct him. Or you think what they doing is just perfectly fine and they don't need to change anything. Y'all need to let me know what's going on. Tutu, you did not start drill. You did not start the dancing shit in Brooklyn at all. So cut it out. You Yes, you did drop dance on the train and shit, but nigga, you didn't start that trend out here at all. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you guys notified every time I drop a new video. It's your boy, Upper Class.